Ayana Koji is a fear-inducing, social manipulating, female seducing martial arts master with the express purpose of using people as tools. Yeah, this guy's a uh, kinda OP. But today we'll be focusing on his eyes, more specifically his observational awareness. So come with me on this amazing journey to show you what makes this skill so great. I Hey guys, observational awareness is an essential skill that ties into various other qualities that allow you to interact effectively with your environment and the people in it. Sounds pretty easy, right? Wrong. That's because you're probably being held back by something called autopilot mode. Not that autopilot. Being in autopilot mode simply means you acting without thinking. So how do I avoid it? You need to change things up. If you feel like you're in autopilot, your brain is probably telling you that you've become too comfortable in your day-to-day -day routine. So to bring back excitement to your life, you must set up goals that will keep your mind occupied and challenged. When Ayana Koji first arrived at his new school, his goal was to make at least one friend. This made him feel uncomfortable and forced him out of his comfort zone. Did he do this because he was feeling lonely? Heck no. He did this to stimulate his brain and break out of his normal routine. So find what gives your life purpose and use that to break free of your autopilot mode. Observing is not the same as seeing. Seeing is passive. For example, on your way to work or school, you see everything and everyone around you. But did you really take note of anything in particular? No. That's because observing is an intentional process that requires both mental and visual assessment. However, Ayana Koji doesn't just observe every small thing around him. Nah, you see, the role of an expert observer is to discriminate and selectively observe what's significant in that given moment. For example, in season 1 episode 6, Sudo is on the verge of expulsion and Horikita and Ayana Koji are tasked with finding a way to prove Sudo's innocence. So they decide to go to scope out the crime scene. And when they get there, Ayana Koji is like, yo, this is your case. Have you come up with any sort of plan? And Horikita is like, frick, if only we could find some concrete evidence. Then Ayana Koji proceeds to flex his observational skills like, yo, are you blind? There's literally no cameras in this place. Yeah, and that's the problem, right? Bruh. But they don't know that. This ultimately gives birth to the genius plan of planting a fake security camera in hopes of tricking their enemy into submission. And it's all thanks to Ayana Koji's observational skills. So it's imperative that you cultivate the habit of watching things with an active inquiring mind. And with enough practice, you too can become an effective observer. Just like Ayana Koji, everyone's ability to observe depends on how well you concentrate and focus. In fact, did you know that it actually takes 15 minutes to regain full focus after being distracted? Sheesh. Now I know I've said this like a million times in my other videos, but it's very important that you minimize distractions as much as possible. Use the Pomodoro technique to try and limit online distractions. Wear noise cancelling headphones to limit any noise that might break your focus. Have a manageable to-do list that will keep you on task. These are just a few tips to help you build strong focus. Ayana Koji has extremely high critical thinking skills that help him question, reason, and analyze his observations. Hold up, what the frick is critical thinking? Critical thinking is the ability to think in an organized and rational manner in order to understand connections between ideas and facts. So how can you do this too? Step 1. Identify the problem. Be as precise as possible. The narrower the issue, the easier it is to find the solution. Step 2. Gather enough information about the problem. Find several sources that present different ideas and points of view. Step 3. Analyze and evaluate the information you gathered. Ask yourself if the information is reliable and does it support your hypothesis. Step 4. Use the information you've gathered 
to reach a conclusion. Identify all possible conclusions and pick the one that's sufficiently supported. And just like that, you are now a critical thinker. Today's comment of the day is from my blue lock video. So it's not the first time that I've been asked about a Discord server. And the reason why I haven't set one up yet is because I've been trying to figure out a way to make it useful to you guys. So if you guys have any type of suggestions on how to make the Discord server useful, then I might consider creating a Discord server for the Spartans. I, if you found this video useful in any way, be sure to warm and smash that like button, subscribe to join the Spartan army, and until next time guys, peace.